Hi, my name is Gavin Johnson. I'm a consultant at University College London Hospitals where we have a busy and thriving tertiary referral unit for ERCP in the US. And I'm delighted to be invited by Steris to demonstrate some of their um, devices for t tissue acquisition this afternoon. So I'm going to demonstrate to you the use of the Morrow Micro Forceps now. This is obviously a um, device whereby the forceps have been miniaturized such that they fit down the, um, the channel of a 19 gauge standard EUS cytology needle. So here we have the scope set up. I've already got a 19 gauge needle down the scope. I've taken the stilette out and this is how the micro moray forceps arrive. Very straightforward. We have our assistant take them out. And one feature of these that you notice as you get them out of the box is just how flexible these are. So they really do act on the bridge or, uh, or can go down even a tortuous endoscope. And just to demonstrate the action of the jaws that you'll have seen on some of the other videos, you, you probably won't see that on the video, but they open and close nicely. So make sure that your moray is closed. It's then going to go down the channel of the 19 gauge needle. Can I give you those just to assist there? Thank you, Taz. So this is now in my gift because the scope's in my hand. Get the box out of the way. Okay. And the feature of these is um, the jaw width. So we're getting up to 4.3 millimeters of jaw width for better tissue acquisition. The idea being we've got a better chance of capturing that little nodule in the cyst a better chance of ca capturing a nice uh, bit of the, the cyst wall lining. Is this serous? Is this mucinous? We want our pathologist to get lots of tissue. So what you'll see here is there's my 19 gauge needle. We're going to throw the needle and puncture the cyst as you would in the normal way. So there we are in the middle of the cyst. We're then going to leave that be. I would not be aspirating fluid at this point because you want a nice cyst size to support your, your good views when the forceps are out. So I wouldn't be at this point tempted to take fluid out for CEA, glucose, etc. At that point, I'm getting beautiful EUS visualization of the tip of my needle. And what you'll notice when you use this is as soon as you take the moray microforceps out of the uh, tip of the needle, they're very visible on EUS, particularly if you're, you're, you're zoomed in, etc. What I then ask my assistant to do is just open the micro forceps there and that is incredibly visible you literally see uh, some large echogenic jaws opening to that 4.5 millimeter uh, distance I'm then gently going to gently oppose that against the nodule if that's the lesion ask my assistant to close and then give a firm and gentle pull back just with a finger and forefinger um, and if you have not felt any resistance or seen any tenting on your EUS images then you probably haven't got a sample at that point I'd ask them to open again go again close and a gentle pullback and you'll see a little bit of tenting if you've got some tissue. There is no need to get tenting more than once because your first pass probably has some tissue in it. At that point you're pulling out. Um, and that applies both to a nodule within a cyst as well as a, a cyst lining itself. And what you'll have noticed in the um, contraption, so at that point I'm going to take my needle back in the normal way or actually if I, if I plan to take fluid off I'd leave the needle in, take this out and I don't have a sample pot with me here. So my assistant is now doing all of this. We're then putting that over a sample pot, stirring it around, but it does come with this small device, which is a very fine tipped needle, just to tease out any samples. You'll see if that's adequate. Whilst that needle is in place, I can go again with my micro forceps aiming at that cyst wall or the nodule. Um, once I'm finished with my samples, I can then very quickly put my um, aspiration syringe onto the tip of my needle and drain the fluid in the normal way for analysis. And that is the um, Moray Microforcep. Thank you very much.